Welcome back to Bunch of Weirdos, it's Channel 1. Bad Asia comes to you again with another one of these intriguing FIFA 17 experiments. Today, we have the strongest players versus the weakest players. Now, intrinsically, you'd be like, yeah, you would want someone who's strong in most athletics. But that is the beauty of, well, the beautiful game, is that you can play and win and succeed in multiple ways. Yes, Strength and Brawn might help out as, you know, a big hulking defensive end or as a good hold-up uh, striker, but, you know, a bit of agile and a bit of cunning, the, the ability to go ahead and elude or nip around an attacker to nip the ball away is almost just as effective. So we're gonna go ahead and bid these two teams up against each other and see who reigns supreme. Will it be the strongest team or will it be the weaky team? And if you wanna show me that you guys want more of these FIFA 17 experiments, go ahead, take your hard rectangle, smoosh it into that like button right now, and subscribe if you are new for more weird oddball FIFA 17 content. All right, starting off, we're going with the strongest team right here. And that is on Manchester United because they actually had a couple of the strongest players. That being Ibrahimovic, Pogba, as well as I believe Fellaini are all uh, in the strongest team lineup. Now to qualify for the strongest team, you had to be 90 strength or higher, except for the goalkeeper position that was 85 strength and higher. And there are some fantastically yoked players on this squad. As you can see, up front you have a possible real life pairing of Romelu Lukaku and Zlatan Ibrahimovic uh, up there. Behind them, you have backing them up the likes of Diego Costa, uh, Bendeke, and of course, you can't have a strong team without having Akira Finwa on your squad. Camp position, you got Paul Pogba uh, at the two center mids. You have Nzanzi and Torre, and then at the CDM, you have Montic. But you have a couple of good options back here as well. You have Krushayak, Wanyama, Fellaini, Kadira. And those are the kind of the same people that you can get in in these center mids. Very, very beefy. In the back line, you have two of the best center backs in the game in Boateng and Chiellini. Although it was a little bit interesting that those two were the only high end center backs that were 90 strength plus. A lot of them, a lot of the other top guys hovered around like the high 80s. But the uh, next up to that is a little bit of a drop up with Virgil van Dijk, Koulibaly, Jonathan Ta, and then uh, Nicholas Sula. You can see Jordan Matthews in the squad because he does offer us the leverage to go ahead and uh, play at the left back position. Along with Pogba's brother is also in there because he too can also play at the left back. Now there are two huge weaknesses to the strength side and that comes down to right here. The right back is a 68 rated Patterson and the keeper is a 68 rated Johnson. Those were the two highest that I could find in their position that had, well, for Patterson 90 plus strength and for Johnson, 85 plus strength. As for the weakest players, I've gone ahead and put them on uh, Arsenal. Now to go ahead and qualify for the weak squad, you had to have a strength that is underneath the rating of 60. I tried flirting with like 55 and 50 and anything after that, it was it was slim pickings. It, it, they would've just been slaughtered. So I went with 60, hopefully you guys can deal with that. Up top, you got leading the line is Iago Aspas of Celta Vigo. Behind him, you got the likes of Javi Hernandez, Giovinco, and even Merchants and Kagawa can play a little bit there. Uh, at the cam positions, very, very nice. Uh, Christian Eriksen, one of the better sim players in the game. Then you got Oscar Kagawa, Oliver Torres, Derrida. And then out on the right mid, you have Bernardo Silva, new Man City player, along with the likes of Charisma, Osman Dembele, and uh, Jesus Navas. On the left side is the most, probably the most well known, and that is Neymar uh, at 92. Behind him, you have the likes of Insigne, Mertens, and even this Jauzinho guy who can also play at the left back. Midfield, it was a little bit slim pickings, but you have uh, Kevin Kampel, I believe is how you pronounce his name, and Zelinski over here behind them are a couple of people that I don't really know all too well. There's this Adam Nagy guy that does pretty well in career mode. Uh, on the right back side though, you have two pretty go darn good right uh, fullbacks in Danny Alves, and then on the other side, you have uh, Guerra over here. And then in between the sticks, very surprising, they have an excellent keeper in uh, Hugo Lloris. Behind him, you have Perrin. And there's actually a surprising good amount of keepers that aren't that strong. Now, much like the strong team, there are two main weaknesses to this squad, and that being their center backs. You're not going to find all too many center backs that, that have, uh, you know, that high of a rating. So I think for them, I increased it. So it had to be like strength under 65, I believe is what I put it at. Yeah, it was either like strength 65 or below. Anything less, uh, there's literally no one. So these were the two that I found. Uh, bueno, 63 rated, and then Bonifazi, who's at 68. And then behind him, as you can see, very, very slim pickings out. They're actually recommending that I use CDMs, cams, and a right back in replacement for them. 
And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put both of these sides, well, into the Premier League, sim forward into the season and see how these two turned out. Before we go ahead and do that, I want you guys to go ahead and vote no cheating. Who do you think will finish higher in the league? The strong team or the weak and cunning? Vote up in the eye, thank you. All right, we are now on the 1st of July of 2016. If you've watched a couple of these, you guys know the drill. We're going to go ahead and sub it to the midway point, see how uh, these two teams are doing. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, while it is subbing up, this is customary, I have to go ahead and make a well, a prediction. If I get the prediction right, usually something, uh, well, nothing really happens. I get, I get to show you like a, a compilation of, of puppies or something. But since the punishment today is going to be the always voted for nipple slap, I'll show you a compilation of lovely male nipples if I give this prediction right. If I get it wrong though, Mrs. Monis is uh, gonna go ahead and slap the shit out of my nipple. That is, that is nipple slap. I didn't vote for it. You guys did. But anyway, let's go ahead, let's send to the midway point and see how the teams are doing. Take it away, Joey Wheeler. Go time with it! All right, we're in January of 2017. Let's go ahead, let's take a look at the damage right here. In the table, and it's... Oh my god! Oh, what has gone, something has gone horribly wrong with the strong team. That is not what I would have predicted. I thought like the two bad center backs of Arsenal would absolutely sink them, but they're doing fine. They're all the way up in fifth. They're but the strong team, they're flirting with relegation right now. Guessing it's that 68 rated keeper bad. That's just doing in the strong team right now. But anyway, uh I I'm gonna get slapped in the nipple. They're not gonna catch it, but we'll just sim to the end and we'll just we'll just see what happens. What happened? Go time with it! All right, we're in June 1st, 2017. Let's go, let's take a look at player stats first. See how it lines up. Uh, Arsenal's Christian Eriksen all the way up in third place. Roberto Firmino finishes on top of the league though. Paul Pogba uh, had, an okay, had an okay time, finishing in fifth with 12 assists. And then uh, Iago Aspas also got 10 assists. He's all the way down in 13th. Going over to assists, oh God. Arsenal probably did pretty well, didn't they? Um, Eriksen had double digits in both assists and in goals, then himself 10 assists. Pogba also did pretty well with seven, down in seventh place, and then there's no one else from Arsenal on this list. And then over in clean sheets, Jack Butlin, the OP fuck god himself, finishes on top, but uh, Lloris finishes not too far off with 10 clean sheets. And then we actually do see Johnson all the way down in 15th place with uh, five clean sheets, but yeah. I'm getting slapped in the nipple. It's that is that is very much true. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the table. Arsenal finished in second place. Manchester United are a point away from being releg from being relegated. What the fuck happened? I mean, I can't super pinpoint to any one thing. That's not a great record. 29 appearances, only six clean sheets. I can feel I actually got a game. I'm surprised about that. Um. Goal scoring records of a lot of these players weren't fantastic. Pendeke had 24 appearances, only netted 5. Uh, Lukaku only played 23 games, he netted 4. Diego Costa had 40 games, 7, not good enough. And Zlatan had 19 games, only netted 2. So you could put it on the strikers, but I don't, I just don't know. Oh, you go over Arsenal, they were a lot more efficient. Javi Hernandez netted 8, Aspas had 10. Uh, let's see, Insigne contributed in five. Very interesting, Neymar only played 13 games and they came second in the league. I don't know what it is, but I've seen this multiple times. The CPU does not like to play Neymar. And it was mostly off of the back of this one player. Christian Eriksen, 29 appearances, 13 goals, 10 assists in the Premier League. Fantastic return. So yeah, that means I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my nipple slapped on camera. Let me go get Mrs. Moss. Before Mrs. Mana slaps the shit out of my nipple, I want everyone to be take notice of this sweet ass farmer's tan that I have with me. Look at that. It's like a gradient. Alright. This is the nipple slap. <laughs> Oh, my titty jiggled. So 
yeah, that goes ahead and concludes this FIFA 17 experiment. If you did enjoy, take your hopefully non slap nipples and push into that like button. Uh, if you want to go ahead and check out my latest randomizer career bone episode, go ahead and click over here. Ding, if you want to check out another one of my FIFA 17 experiments I did with Guardi FIFA, go ahead and click down here. Ding's a poo. So, yeah, that is it from me, the shirtless fat Asian this time. Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember, see yourself, stay humble, and be weird.